Importing data into MySQL is an alternative to using the insert statements that we learned about in class. I've created a table called employee and it's important to create your table first before you try to import the data. And you can see that the employee table has five attributes in it. At the bottom is an Excel spreadsheet that's saved in the CSV format. That's very important. That's comma separated values. It's one of the options when you save a spreadsheet in Excel. So you must save it as CSV in order to import it. You'll notice this spreadsheet has five columns that match up to the five columns that have been set up in the table. In your spreadsheet, do not use the column names, just the data that you want to import. And it's also important that you only have one tab in your spreadsheet that you're saving as a CSV file, and that the tab name employee is the same as your table name. So to import the data that's in that CSV file, you go to Import, Browse, find the name of the file that you're looking for, make sure you have CSV chosen as your option for importing and click Go. You'll see that the PHP Admin panel actually created all of the insert statements and if we go back to our database and we browse it we see we now have five rows of data consistent with the five rows we had in our spreadsheet.